Welcome to iOS Development Tips and Tricks course. My name is Andy. In this lecture, we're going to create table view cell that allow us to do drag and drop and moving one cell to the other. So let's start by creating a single view application. And I'm going to call this cell drag and drop. And I'm going to put it in my folder. First, let me show you the final look of the app. So this is a grocery list application. And you can move the item around by clicking the cell and then drag to the position that you want to be. So let's start by creating our table view. So I'm going to open the main storyboard. So we got one view and then I'm going to drag the table view into our controller. Let's make some room by closing the document outline and I'm going to stretch this table view. And just to be sure, I'm just going to set the auto layout. And the next thing, I'm going to drag the cell. And I'm just going to set it to basic. And then we're going to set the data source. So con press control on the keyboard and click and drag to the view controller and select data source. And do one more time. Now we're going to set the delegate. Now let's open the view controller. We're going to set the UI table view data source and UI table view delegate. Now we need to conform to the protocol. So I'm going to do function number of section is going to be just one section and then function table view, we want to set the number of rows in section. So before we do that, let's create our data source. So I'm going to call this groceries. And it's going to be just an array of string. Let's put milk, toothpaste, Apple, coffee, let's do one more, uh, let's put watermelon. And now we can set the number of rows to be groceries that count. And then the Last thing that we need to do to conform with the protocol, we need to set the cell photo at index path. Then we're going to set the cell equal the table view dot dq reusable with identifier. And let's just call this cell fruit. And index path is index path. And then the cell, we're going to just set the label and equal to groceries index path dot row. Then we need to return the cell. And before we forget, let's set the identifier for our cell. So this is going to have the identifier equals cell fruit. And while we're here, I'm going to create the outlet for our table view. So let's open the assistant editor. Then we're going to control drag from the table view to our 
view controller I'm just going to call it table view right so now let's back to our view controller and I'm going to close this assistant editor now we need to set that the table view is going to be editable so in order to do that let's call table view set editing the editing equal true and let's do the animation equal true as well and this one we're missing the return keyword now we need to create another table view function this function table view and we want to select editing style photo at index path and I'm just going to set this table view UI table view cell editing style to none the next thing we want to set another table view function so move row at index path so right here we're going to swap between the source table view cell and the destination table view cell so we're going to call swap and then and we're going to pass in the groceries with the index of source index path that row and the target is going to be groceries destination index path that row and to see what's going on I'm going to just print the groceries and we're going to see how the items being swapped then after that we just need to do table view dot reload data so now let's build and test our project I'm going to move this so we can see the debug window so as we move the item to a different cell the order of the item in the array is going to be rearranged so like right now after we move it apple is going to the last one let's try another one toothpaste that move it to the top now toothpaste is at the first item on the array so that's how we move the cell within a table view